Yes, guys. Let's go here again. And I'm super excited to have you here. So today, I want to quickly show you something very, very amazing. So in this video today, we're going to be looking how to create multiple Facebook ad accounts. How do you get to create multiple Facebook ad accounts? Now, before we even talk about how to create multiple Facebook ad accounts, why do you need multiple Facebook ad accounts, right? You need multiple Facebook ad accounts because there is a lot of things that could happen to your ad account. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can do this step by step. All right, let's go. I can try now. Try to. Can you hear me now? Okay, yes, I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Okay. Yes. So as I was saying, what you have just done now, what you have just done now, is one of these hard. What you just did now is one of the things that give people a lot of headache. I know how much people get paid when it comes to creating payments and funds on their other account. And the simple solution to creating this is just to be able to open a business, go into business settings and create another account like this. Now, to show that as a beginner, so that you don't have future issues, I said I advise that you Okay, accounts. So, yes, I mean. No, 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 no. Stay where you are. Where you see add up, that blue button you see up, where is add, where is add. No, 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 no. In the middle side, it looks like the button you clicked on before. Exactly. Look at it now. Create new ad account again. So you see now, if you have done it before, you will not see that button where it was the first time. Right? You see it in some and in another place. Right? So you now you can still use it to create. Yes. So just create one more, create one more quickly. Don't need anything. Create one more. How many of us are still here? If you are still here, say let's go. Hope you are learning. So it's not about us covering so much in one day. It is about whatever we are able to cover, you have a detailed knowledge about it. And by the, by the time I'm sending you the recorded videos, and all you are logging into your membership area, everything you are just looking at there is refreshing your memory around what you did. Do you understand? Right? So pay attention, even if you are not the one I am using for the examples right now. You are still going to be able to send All right. Another business manager, right? How do you get to create another business manager, right? So if you come to rates, you are, you are moving as if you know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you see your name up there, so when you see your name up there, click on it. When you see that your name. Your Wait, see, create a business portfolio. Have you seen it? Create a business portfolio. Right? Yes. Click on 
Click on that rich sparkles now. Click on it. So let's not do that rich sparkles own yet. Let's use it as the recap. So go back. Okay. Okay. Go back to your Facebook account. Oh. To your normal Facebook account. I want to use it as a recap for those of the people that are going to watch Nigeria's victory. Let's go to the very beginning. So that they would know what we are trying to do. Leave all this place. Just go to facebook.com. Okay. 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 So, um, an introduction for people that are just joining us. When it comes to running Facebook ads, there are a lot of things that you can get to do, right? So, earlier, I talked about how to run Facebook ads from a page. So, the first thing you need to do is to create a page. Now, after you create a page, you can boost a post on your page. Another thing you can do is to run ads from your business manager. And if you are running ads from your uh, business manager. So you need to be able to set up your business manager. You need to be able to set up your ads manager account before you start running ads so that in case you have any problems with your ads, you can find a way to navigate yourself, um, your way around it. So Facebook accounts always get banned. It is impossible for you to keep running Facebook ads without your account getting banned. Especially when you are a learner, like me now, I cannot remember the last time my account was banned, any of my accounts was banned, because I have so much knowledge about it because I already know five, six steps ahead. But when I was a learner, I have, I have more than 17 different Facebook accounts were banned. So Facebook accounts always get banned. So the only way you can bring that to the barest minimum is making sure you set up your business manager first and your ad manager 
so that in case you have any problem with your, any of your ad accounts, you will just switch to another one and you will keep running ads. And number two, when you set up your business manager, you don't have payment issues. You don't find it difficult to be able to make payments, right? Now, we're going to be talking more about setting up the ad, making the ad rank, and all this other stuff, right? We're going to be talking more and more about that. But then, let's look at this. Let's look at um, this now. All you just have to do right now is to come to where you see Ads Manager. So, um, Isaiah, go ahead. Click on Ads Manager. Please, those of you that were not here, hope you are following. Click on Ads Manager. So when you click on Ads Manager, it brings you to your ad account like this. And if you, create, if you click on Create, for example, click on Create. It shows you different ad objectives that you can use to run ads, right? But this is not where we want to start from. So cancel it, cancel it. So it's not just to come and run ads. It's to first of all set up the ad account, right? And how do you get this ad account set up? All you just have to do is come here, come to your left side, you go to all tools, all tools. Then you click on business settings, business settings. Now, when you click on business settings, you can see now you have two. Can you see it? Yes, yes. So before now, you used to have one, just one. Yes, we have now you have to so yes click on click on the rich factors now so once you are able to get to this point what you need to do now is to create another account so how do you create another account you come to this uh, left side on that pages you see other accounts click on other account Yes, your ad account has been disabled. Just what I was Why? saying now. Are you getting me? Just exactly what I was just saying just now, right? So your ad account is most probably going to be disabled. And if it is disabled, don't panic. Don't panic, right? If it's disabled, don't panic. All you just have to do is to, is to follow the steps of what they want you to do, and you will get your ad account back, right? So the only time that your okay. ad account is disabled and you cannot get it back is when you have done some things wrong, right? So our assignment today is you need to go and read the Facebook ad policy. Go and read the Facebook ad policy. Read the Facebook ad policy. Please write it down. Facebook ad policy. So to run ads on Facebook, there are policies you must adhere to. Right? And the only reason why your ad accounts can be banned and you cannot get it back is if you violated those policies. So somebody should write it down. Somebody should write it in the group too for me right read the facebook ad policy i'm going to be asking questions about the facebook ad policy in tomorrow's class the facebook ad policy now when you when you have this in your ad account this is how you are going to get it back this is how you get your your ad account back when you see that it has been disabled now this uh are you here Yes, I'm here. So you're just going to be here. Don't click on anything. Open another tab. Open another tab. Go to Facebook on that tab.
Now, when you see this, when you see, before the notification, there's a drop down in that your rich Sparkles logo. No, 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 on this other side. On this other side, the far, your far right, right, not left now, right. Yes. Yes. Click on the drop down there. Yes. Click on it. Yeah. Yes, click on it. Now switch to your name. Switch to that your name. So do you have an ID card that carries this name? Or at least two of this name? Yes. Okay. Do you do you have a picture of it on this device? No. Okay, let's go ahead. So you you might need it. So let's go ahead. Go back. So don't cancel this. Go back to that that other old tab. Now click on see details. Click on it. Okay. So request review, click on request review. Requests. Yes, request review. I'm not a robot. Yes, ma'am. Scroll down, there is a next down. There's a next down. Okay, you know what? This is what you do. Come to that. This I'm unable page. to scroll down. Click, click on, there's these three dots by your browser. By your right, three dots by your right. Yes, click on it. Yes. Click on it, click on it. Now, Yes. come to that zoom and minus, minus. Come to the zoom and minus. Click on it. Tap, tap it, tap it. Uh -huh. I should continue. Uh, click on continue now. Ah. Uh, you didn't click on it. Though. What was this one? Maybe I'm not a robot again. Continue. Yes. Okay, change the listing. Number. Yes, the country, the country code. They're putting, yes. Then okay. right. Same. Yes, use WhatsApp or SMS, anyone. Type the code. 
Back to Facebook. Click on back to Facebook. What did you say? Click on okay. back to Facebook. Refresh this page. I clicked on back to Facebook. So this Refresh. is what I'm showing. Refresh. Refresh, okay. Your account is okay now. You have your account back. Today. Yes, it is. They didn't even ask. Everything has been resolved. Resolved. Yeah. So you see, do not panic when you see that flag that, ah, my account has been banned, right? As long as you have yes. violated the policy, you do not have any issues. All right. Okay, let me quickly take a few questions. Some people are raising their hands to ask questions. Let me take a few questions. Officer, uh, still stay on the line. Stay on the okay. line. Let me take a few questions. Um, let me take a few questions. Okay, if anyone or no, if I'm correct, you can unmute. Hello? Yes. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Okay, so my question is, are you teaching us how to turn our, how to change our normal Facebook page to a business page? No. no. I'm teaching you how to create a business manager because when you are running ads on Facebook, you need to, as a professional, you need to create a business manager. Then after creating a business manager, you need to create an ad account. So you need to create an ad account, then create a a business manager so that you can use it to run ads. So I get like, it. Then I also show you how yeah. to resolve your ad account issues if your ad account is banned and you have not committed any crime. Okay, like for someone now to open a Facebook account. So yeah. for you to you just open a Facebook account, just like so just like IG now, if you open an Instagram account, there are options where you have to change it to a professional account. That if you want that account to be no, you a don't it's account. The same with Facebook. Facebook, when you are opening your account, you are opening the account is personal. Mm -hmm. The page is for the business. Oh, okay. So on Facebook, you open pages for the business. Then you use the pages you have opened to open an a ad account to run ads for the business. Did you get it? So, um, so let me let me um, say what you said to, to know if I've gotten it. So when you open a Facebook account, yeah, when you open a Facebook account, it doesn't matter if it, you can decide if, it's, if it should be your personal account or your business account, but once you- You should never it, open a Facebook account in a business name. It is wrong. And if you had the issue she had now, and you open that Facebook account, if it was emekalimited.com or Emeka and Sons, Emeka and Sons Enterprise, it will not, you will have issues. Because when Facebook asks you for an ID card, you don't have an ID card for Emeka and Sons. So the way Facebook was originally created, accounts is for individuals. Pages is for business or uh, content creators or, or digital creators. Okay. Did you get it? Hello? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I get it. So when you open the account and you use your personal name, then you go ahead to open a page account on that um, account. It's, exactly. It it's so you go ahead to open a page. Now, the page you open not only you can have access to it, a whole lot of people that are managers of that page or employees of that page can also have access to it. Did you get that? Did you so, get that? Yes, so after, 
yes yes wait one more question please. so after opening the page you and you want to run um an ad on um, the page you um you after opening the page you go ahead to run to go um to run an ad then you what's it called you open a business manager to on the page after opening the page mm. right you can post on the page now and you can boost any of the posts on the page or you can go into ads manager and run ads on that page <laughs> don't worry you understand as we go i'll show you all that things did you get me okay. yeah, yeah don't worry you understand i'll take my time you get it okay thank you all right catering okay so please have it okay Okay, so what's the instance of creating the pool business manager? At what point do we use a particular one to run ad? Like, what's the instance? So the essence of creating two, right? Ah, I have rich packers and I have... Yes. The essence of creating the two is if one have problem, you switch to the other one and your business does not have to wait. Oh. But basically, okay. you only need one to start running ads. But well, I can tell you for sure, as you are running ads, issues come up, complications always happen, right? And you don't want to start okay. running around and start seeing how you can fix it and all that. So you're just, okay. it might be a temporary issue that they're telling you in 24 hours it will be fixed. So you just switch to the other one, business continues. Do you get it? So okay. Yes. Patron, go ahead. Um, hello, sir. Please, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so whilst um, Pisayo was doing her own, trying to correct her own, I was doing my along just to see if I can do it. But I noticed that her own, they gave her another dialog box came and then she filled it like what she was doing. But my, they gave me a form like to write, like a write up as to why under the review, you know, you showed her to go to review. Yes, so two of, you have different, two of you have different kinds of accounts. You, you have been running ads. So is you, you have been okay. running ads, and you have probably violated Facebook policies. Or she I didn't have not violated any. Huh? <laughs> I've not violated any. Do you know the policies? I, I clicked on it and I read. When you talked no. about it, I quickly went to check. You have read about it today? Yes, when you mentioned it, I went oh, back to check. You cannot finish reading it within this last time. So you don't know it. Ah, uh, okay. All right. You want? You want? You want? Go ahead. So please, would I have to wait and you would? Oh. Yes, yes, don't worry. I'm going help to help you with my later. Yes, I'll attend to you personally. Okay. You want? Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Good evening, sir. Yes, good, good evening. Okay, the question I want to ask is that what is the difference between uh, so, so somebody is asking, and... somebody is saying, is it possible to open Facebook page without Facebook account? Mm -hmm. No, it's not possible. <laughs> you must create a Facebook account first. Huh? Uh, who went to go and ask that it is who went to go and answer that it is possible? You must create a Facebook account first before you open a page right it is inside the account you open a page but there are two different things the page is standing on its own right and it's a representation of your business right and the uh the account is the representation of yourself go ahead uh, the question i want to ask is uh, what is the difference between i manager and other accounts yeah. hello yes the difference between ad manager and ad accounts so your your business your your uh ad manager your question should be what's the difference between business manager and ad manager ad manager and other accounts are the same 
right? Okay. But what your question should be, what's the difference between business manager and ad accounts? So a business manager is, is, is a portfolio of businesses. So under a business manager, you can have five, six, seven ad accounts inside it, right? And you can have up to two, three, four business managers. So each business manager holds a number of ad accounts inside it. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Hola. Quickly, quickly, so that we can continue with what we're doing. Hola. All right. Um, I'm, I'm, I was trying to do something like I already told us to do, but um, I wouldn't want to ask any dumb question. I will try then. I will to ask my question. So I'm asking your question again. Hello. Do you understand? I didn't get you. Hello? Hello? I did not get oh, you. Oh, yeah. I was saying that I don't want to, like, I don't want to drag us back. So I'm trying to, like, do it for okay, my okay, own. Okay, so okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay, please have a question. <laughs> okay, can we go ahead? Hello? Yes, yes. Yeah. I have a question, please. Yes. So does it mean we have to use different um, ad accounts for different um, ad advertisement like if you want to run ad now you use a particular ad account if you want to run another uh, no you can use you can use the same ad account ad, you use another ad account no no Is you can use, no you can use the same ad account for multiple advertisements okay but you can you are if the adverts are not related you have to use different pages different pages not ad accounts. Did you get it? So at what point do we use the second or the other ad accounts? When you said when it's multiple. the ad account has issues or when you are running too many businesses and you have to segregate. Okay, okay, okay. Did you get it? Okay. All right. Yes. Mr. Gilbert, you came very late. I guess you were watching Nigerians match. Mr. Gilbert, you can unmute. Okay. Uh, good evening. Can you hear me now? Yes, good evening. Good evening. So I want to like uh, when, when you said um, we actually create a uh, multiple account. So my question would be if we're creating multiple account in case one gets bad, uh are we um, are those multiple accounts supposed to bear the same hosting? No, you like, can. What no. I mean is, if if I have if I have A, B, and C accounts, am I supposed to post the same exact uh, content? No, no, no. You are getting that me I have wrong. On a, You're getting me wrong. Has a you problem. don't post what anything on your you business do? manager. You don't post anything on your business, anything on your business manager. You don't post anything on your ad account. You only post on your page, which you don't need multiple pages for a, any a business. Okay. You need only one page for a business. Okay. The only thing you need multiple, okay. multiple of is your ad account and your business manager because of the process of running ads. Did you get it? Okay, 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 okay. Um, you can stop sharing this aisle. Let me show them. Okay. Let me show you guys something. Even if this is the only um, thing I want to be sure that everybody how do I... has gotten something. Okay. I'm coming. Um, let me share. Now look at this now. Everyone, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. yes, yes. This you see here are business managers, business portfolios, right? Now, 
if you look at it, all of these business portfolios, I have, look at this one, digital world business. Inside of digital world business, look at it. There are 11 other accounts inside it. Are you getting me? And there are yes. two pages. Yes. There are two pages. There are different things. So we have the business portfolio, which is the business uh, manager. Then we have the other accounts, which I have 11 here. Then we have two pages here. Now, look at this fashion club. Fashion club has one other account and one page. Okay. Right? This cell with us, yeah. there is no other account inside and there is no page inside. This celebration, there is zero other account and there's one page inside. This Sky VFX Studio, there's one other account and one. So the business, so what I'm saying you should create multiple of is this business account and the ad account themselves. Let me show you what the ad account looks like inside of an ad, right? Let me come here and say Facebook. So let's say this was, so let's say this was, come here, you see ads manager. So one year, once you come here, you see ads manager. Now inside of this ads, inside of ads manager now, if you come to this side, you go to um, all tools. From all tools, now this is business settings where we created it. Now, but let me show you the other accounts we have created. If you come to this place now, if you click on, you see where your name, originally to show your name as the ad account, right? So if you come here, click here, yeah. if you want to see more ad accounts, these are different ad accounts. And the business shows up here. You see, on that digital world, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eleven. Are you seeing it? Yeah. Fashion Club now, yeah. its own shows here. Sky VFX, his own shows here. And the original one that comes with the page shows here. Did you get it now? So now, I don't have limitation in running ads. Yes, yes, yes. So I have, if I click on okay. Digital World 2023, look at it. I have a lot of ads running here. Look at it. I have okay. different campaigns running here. In fact, look at this one. You can see it. These ones are in learning phases. You can see learning. And you can see this one, high performing. These ads are performing high. Facebook is telling, tipping me that these ones are performing high. But these ones are still learning, still gathering information. Are you getting me now? Are we together? Yes, 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 yes. Now, yeah. if I switch the ad account, these are ads. Because me, I run a lot of ads. And I want to be able to segregate them, right? If I come here now to, this is Digital World Ad Account, uh, Digital World 2023. If I now come to this one, I named Digital World Ad Account. I have another set of ads running there. Yeah. You can see this one too. Another set of ads running there. And I named the ads different, different names. This, look at this one, OT, Old Flyer, eh? Video. Webinar. You see, I just named different kinds of ads. Are you getting what I'm doing now? Right. So, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I do amazing videos like this one, and I'm going to be posting every single week different things about Facebook ads, about how to make money online, about how to get customers for your business. Right. So, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that when I drop other videos, you are going to be one of the first to get them all right so if you are if you're one of those people that want to join my live classes you've seen this video this was a recorded version of a live class if you if you, if you would like to join my live classes you would like to be with me one-on-one -on -one and we talk i help you fix your ad campaigns 
I teach you how to run ads, how to run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, build landing pages, build sales funnels. If this one is, if this has a content you want to do, there's a description. There's a link in the, in the description. Go ahead and click on that link, and you get access to my class. Take it easy, guys, and go hard. <laughs> Take it easy, guys, and have a nice day.